good morning students and uh, welcome to the max now we are moving to chapter 2 whole numbers standard 6 this is the first part of the video our chapter name itself is a whole number so what do you mean by whole numbers so there are one more natural numbers what do you mean by natural number and whole numbers now Natural numbers are the numbers starting from one, two, three, up to infinity. Whole numbers are the numbers starting from zero, one, two, three, up to infinity. So these are the whole numbers and natural numbers. Whole numbers starts with zero. Whereas natural numbers start one, two, three. So now we we'll move to the topic called as predecessor. And successor. So what do you mean by predecessor and successor? Now predecessor means the number before the that given number. Suppose hundred is given. What is the predecessor of hundred? So the predecessor of hundred is ninety nine. Successor. Successor of hundred is one zero one. Here you can tell hundred minus one. Subtracting one from that number gives the predecessor of that number. Next, adding one to that given number gives the successor of that number. Now, natural number and whole numbers. In predecessor, in natural numbers. One does not have any predecessor, whereas in whole numbers, zero does not have any predecessor. Remember, in natural numbers, one does not have a predecessor, whereas in whole numbers, zero does not have any predecessor. Now, what is the smallest natural number, and what is the smallest whole number? Now, what is the smallest natural number? Natural number is one. The smallest natural number is one. The smallest whole number is. Zero. Here you can see the one is the first number. That is the smallest number in whole number. Zero is the smallest number. So that is why the smallest number is zero. Our next topic is number nine. So will be the first addition of num addition on number line. So how will add on number line? So first we'll take an example six plus four. First draw a number line. Put arrows on both the side. Then start with the zero. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Now you know six plus four is equal to ten. Now first number is six. So we'll start with the number six, four. So going four steps on the right. So put the arrows like this. We are going to 
those steps on the right side. So 6 plus 4 in the circle, the answer. It's right here, 6 plus 4 is equal to 10. Next example, 3 plus 7. First, again draw the line. Start with the number 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. The last number is 10. 7 plus 3 is equal to 10. The first number is 3. So we will start with 3. 7 steps on the right side. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So here, 7 steps on the right side. So answer is 10. Circle that answer. So 7 plus 3, 3 plus 7 is equal to 10. we have next is subtraction. Subtraction. Now how to subtract all number line? For example, 8 minus 5. No. First, draw the number line. Start with 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 8 is the maximum number we require. You know, 8 minus 5 is equal to 3. Now, we want the answer to be 3. So, starting first number is 8. So, here is minus 5. So, you have to subtract 5. Like addition, we are going on this side. We will be moving on this side now. On the left hand side. 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. So final answer is 3. Put the arrows so that we can understand we are moving on this side. So 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3 is the answer. 8 minus 5 is equal to 3. Now, 10 minus 2. So, draw the number line. Arrows on both the sides. Maximum number is 10. So, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. So, our starting number is 10. So, from 10, you have to minus 2. So, 1, 2. So, this is the answer. We are moving on this side. So, 10 minus 2 is equal to 8. That is the subtraction on number line. Now continuing on number line. We have next part is multiplication. Now how to multiply on number line? We will take an example. First example 2 multiplied by 4. Draw the number line. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Now you know 2 fours are 8. So we want the number, last number to be 8. Now here 2. 
4 is up. So you want 4 times 2. So 0 to 2 1s are 2. Put an arrow. 2 2s two are 4. 2 3s are 6. 2 4s are 8. So our answer is 8. So in this way we are making the bundles of the first number into four parts. So 1, 2, 3, 4. There are four bundles of 2. So answer is 8. Third one, second example. Let's take 3 into 4. So first draw the number line. Start with 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. You know, 3, 4, that's the answer is 12. Now we want the bundles of 3. So first, draw 0 to 3. Again one more. Three, two, six. Again one more three parts. One more three parts. So now three fours are one, two, three, four parts. So three fours are the answer is twelve. Now our next part is division on number. Now how to divide on number? Suppose the number is 16 divided by 3. So 16 divided by 3. There is question and there is reminder also. So let's see what is the question and what is the reminder. First, draw the number line. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, Here is the number. Divide by 3. So the first number is 16. So here we have 16. Divide by 3. So we are moving with the bundles of 3. So 1, 2, 3, 4, and now here if you see we cannot make bundles of 3. So now 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. So 5 is the question. This is the reminder 1. Similarly we will be divide 9 divided by 2. Let's see. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. We want the first number 9. Make the bundles of 2. 2, 3, and 4. Now for your calculation, if you want to write 1, 2, 